my laptop work already. Okay, here we go. Okay, click on good. That's done, that's done, that's done. Good. Newbury, John C., Richmond, California. It's 8 24 in the morning. At Get my glasses on. Jeez. June 10th, 2020. It's 8 24 at night. Fireworks going off, driving my damn dog crazy. Two million cases predicted for September. Two million cases of coronavirus. As if we had a whole year to plan for this lovely scene. Oh, for the love of St. Mike, we're right for it. Two million cases. How does Sam Hello we're supposed to be able to deal with that stuff in the first place? Because of what we've been going through, you're not maintaining social distancing at some events and gathering in larger large parties without masks. That includes the constant protests. A lot of people are deciding not to wear it. Other people are actually trying to decide that they still need to wear it. And because of that, they may be protected slightly or protected against the corona if they can. The rest of them are going to be open season for the thing. And what the CDC has been predicting at this point over here, because the people haven't been taking care of themselves and they're seeing spikes in hospitalizations at this point over here, they're afraid that the corona is going to be jumping up like crazy. Now, they originally assumed a long time ago, and I know people are going to be screaming and yelling their damn heads off, but it all depends upon our reactions and actions at this point over here, and we're screwing things up left and right. So deal with that, okay? Because we haven't been taking care of ourselves properly these days, as been suggested, such as social isolation at this point over here, and constantly wearing masks left and right, somewhere in this damn thing I've got a mask buried. That's rather insulting as hell. In order to make a, order to make a big stink about masks. Oh! Doesn't even fit the ears until I get my hair done, and then maybe else it'll fit me. A few bucks, but still, it's worth it, I think. Still an air from it. And my last two, given to me by a friend. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be staying healthy enough. Hospital Surgicals. Right now, Don Lemon on CNN is going to be talking about it, and I'll be catching the replay on this thing a little bit later, concerning about how many more people are going to be dying, maybe about approximately 100,000 people by September. They originally had said, and they originally hoped, because of the early models that they were using at the time, that we would have less of the corona during the summertime, or that we screwed up on that one. Because we didn't see the events happening afterwards that throws off the entire model. How does the death of one guy underneath the Nero cop can screw up the entire country concerning about the COVID? Now, this is my own idea, my own theory, my own observation. This is not a conspiracy theory I'm putting out here. This is my own personal observation. Okay, this is what I've been hearing. This is what I've been formulating in my own little skull over here. So don't pass it around, okay? But just think about it, okay? We have the marches going on left to right. Some people are actually deciding to use masks. Even these flimsy things. Or these are even better than that. More constructed. More better for the face. Let me get this damn thing on right. But supposedly, you know, it's supposed to go over the damn face and protect yourself. I'm not touching the others because I'm keeping them. Right. But theoretically, I'm supposed to put this damn thing on. Theoretically, I'm supposed to be. Well, let's start to watch. 
See, this is what happens when you have floppy ears and you don't have hard enough cartilage in your ears. And something like this doesn't work. But barely. So I know it doesn't work. But I know a mask like this would work. I'm keeping these right where I can get them. I have a few masks that I use. Go out with me in case. I talked about this one a little while ago. You know, excuse me for a couple of seconds here. Real life, boys and girls. Reality check. Mm -hmm. See, this is my backdrop. This is my life. Cluttered as it is. But you know what? I really don't care. It's my life, so deal with it. Okay, I had been wearing this for a hell of a long while. I had to keep retiring the damn thing because I can't get this damn thing to work right. Always have to reformulating this thing all over again so I can actually wear something around my damn neck. And it's hard as hell to do that because I have to wear this thing around my damn neck. And that's a hard damn thing to do. I'm constantly fiddling around with a handkerchief. But this thing. Oh, it's the nice lovely straps on here. Here's metal. Both on the nose. Wow. Here's what I get to do. All right. Let's see if I can get the gag myself to death on this damn thing. But seriously, it's supposed to keep me going. I have to specifically tied. Go around my face. All right. Here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And because I have this nice lovely accessory over here, I can put on my glasses. I know, this is what the coronavirus does to us all the damn time. And people kept saying that we're supposed to wear these things on a constant basis. However, there's always, okay, for the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to talk like this, okay? I know you've seen other people talk like this, and it's a pain in the ass, even though we would like to do, and believe me, I do too. Because it's damn hot and sweaty, and people think we're going to get hypoxia or lack of oxygen in our brains because of this thing. Maybe, maybe not. I'll tell you one thing. I do need a new pair of glasses, that's for sure. I do need a pair of glasses. Better ones. Uh, okay, so you think if this is a Tom Fuller video at this point over here, you'd be willing to click the damn thing off me, my guess, but I'll tell you one thing. This is reality, all right? Deal with it. I mean, come on. I've been dealing with other people's realities and other people's highly respected opinions left and right. Well, I keep hearing conspiracy theories left and right, and I did a video on that one already. I did something about grief, and I also did something about uh, observations concerning that Black Lives, Black Lives Matter. That's another video right there. 
My observations concerning about coronavirus and how it's been affecting this poor lo devoted fool here, fool and idiot for a hell of a long while. More videos back in the past on that one. Not to mention a pathetic attempt on how to fry chicken and how the damn thing come out like, ugh. I really learned, I really have to learn how to cook better. I'm 54 years old, you think I'd be better than that, but shit, nope, I don't. Yeah, so, at that point, what I'm trying to do is trying to deal and cope. Oh my god, look at it. Untie it, and then I can actually get this thing rolled. Actually, get it rolled. Here, be able to get this tied around the back and be able to use an eye. Oh. The virus is nothing to be laughed at. Or sneeze. The people have been going against this damn thing ever since we had to wear these silly ass masks or face coverings. We don't want to spread the damn virus around yet. We keep forgetting this damn thing left and right. We don't do professions except when we need them the most. And when we do house, we're usually barking our ass off. I don't know, because I'm one of them. I have a long personal history. Regarding the this point over here, I do schmucks, and I don't follow their damn advice. But I need schmucks, but I don't want to follow their damn advice. I need you schmucks, but I don't want to follow their advice. Where's the logic in all of this? There is no logic. Okay. A face covering. you say this is the kind of thing one has to deal with on a constant basis. No, it's a haircut. I have a haircut. What I'm going to be missing at this point over here is not having hair. Because having hair is driving me nuts. Driving me nuts is I can't untie this damn thing. I got fingernails on the stand thing. Go figure. There we go. More. Right about that. Now, one of our is a dangerous, nasty son of a bitch. We've had some others telling us all along. Do you think we're going to be following the stand thing? Hell no. Hell no. Because we can't. We can't even do that to ourselves. Yeah, I do look like a This is what we do in the day and age. So with the virus, it's crazy, we have to do this kind of thing. How long did they have to do this because of the Spanish uh, flu? A pandemic we had actually like in 19-something. A little long while ago. Like over a century ago. And we had to tie bandanas and masks around us because we needed a damn protection and we made it we had to make sure that we could see over past these things that if we were going to be sneezing we would be sneezing in these things and if we are going to be breathing at least we could try breathing because it's a single ply and we're supposed to be getting some kind of oxygen level through this thing. If not, we can always go. <laughs> and just get rid of it that way. But this has been so damn screwed up, I swear to God. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Now what? I saw was absolutely wrong. Don Lemon. So let's discuss now political... 
Um, Politico White House reporter Daniel Lipman is here in San Diego to the aircraft oh, as well. Uh, I just thank you so much. I'm not getting this. Is, wow, this is big, uh, Daniel. And I just want.